Now, 1.13. Suppose the spheres A and B in exercise 1.12 have identical sizes. A third sphere of the same size, but uncharged is brought in contact with the first, then brought in contact with the second, and finally removed from both. What is the new force of repulsion between A and B? Now see, initially, charge on A and charge on B, that is identical one, same one. So say that particular charge, that is Q. Now, the force of repulsion that is k q square upon r square between these two spheres. Now, if sphere A is touched with identical sphere, then the charge distribution that will be equal one. It implies that now the charge on A that will be Q by 2. Okay. Then that identical sphere is touched with B. Now on that identical sphere also there is the charge equal to Q by 2. Because initially on A charge was Q and on that third one which is identical one charge was 0. So equal distribution, so here Q by 2, Q by 2, right? We discussed. So now that one is touched with B. So now charge on B, that will be Q by 2, that is of that third sphere, plus Q, that is the charge of B, and divided by so now charge on B, that will be 3Q by 4. So new force of repulsion, F dash that is equal to K, QA, QB, QA that is Q by 2 and QB that is 3Q by 4 upon R square because the separation is same one. So resultantly, we can write kq square upon r square into 3 by 8. That is equal to 3 by 8 into f. Now, in previous example, 1.12, when we calculate the value of force, then it comes to 1.52 into 10 raised to minus 2 newton. So now substitute here that particular value of f and we will get a new force of repulsion. Clear to all of you?